bow chicka wow wow bow 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 chicka wow wow hello my moon pies it's your Mima, and i'm going to be showing you how to use face rig software in your video and streaming content with obs studio it's available on steam and all you need is a microphone and a webcam to get started. Once you have the app downloaded onto your computer, then we have to run the driver specific to your operating system. You need to go into your program files, locate your Steam folder, then FaceRig, and then locate the virtual cam drivers, and then run the appropriate one for your operating system. This is the address to mine, but yours might be on your C drive, so replace the D for C. Now you're ready to launch the program. Now, let's take a look at the important features in FaceRig. You'll want to turn on the Advanced UI, which will make a menu appear on the right side of the app. And the most important button of all is Toggle Broadcast. That will ensure the signal goes to OBS. Now we'll want to calibrate it so that it's tracking your face correctly. Uh, have a neutral stance and press the calibrate button. Then put your face features in a neutral stance as well and press that calibrate button. And now it should be tracking your face very well. If you have a beard or it's not tracking your lips as well, you can use the audio based lip sync. That toggles on and off. You can pick your own environments, which are the backgrounds. They have many different backgrounds, but for our purpose, we're going to be using the green screen. And now, just select the avatar that speaks to you. You can be your favorite streamer as a doji. You can make your character larger or smaller using the mouse wheel and the alt key. And you can scroll in and out. Now let's add your avatar to OBS. Select a new source video capture device. Let's rename it FaceRig. Select FaceRig from the drop-down menu. And now you can move your avatar anywhere you'd like in the scene. You can resize it so it fits what you're looking for perfectly. Now we want to get rid of the green screen. So right click on the face rig, select filters, add an effects filter, and select chroma key. You can adjust the sliders to fine tune it if you like, but I think it looks pretty good just as it is. If you'd like to hide the face rig logo, open the advanced UI, Go to the gear icon, and under general options, select hide logo. Bam! There you go. Depending on the avatar you select, you have options for cheeks and tongue that you can operate either with your mouse or a hotkey. They're adorable! Some avatars actually have hands. You can operate those the same way. Now you're ready to start adding face rig avatars to all your content creation. It doesn't matter if you have a bed head or you're in your PJs, because you can be a cat, a dog, even a raptor. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more face rig tutorials and 
if you want to see how I use face rake, check out twitch.tv Mima the Geeky Granny. We stream gaming content Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. GG hugs. Love ya. Mwah! And I'll see you next time.